to you. And I was always intrigued by the stories of misfortune, of mystery, of meeting at the crossroads, making deals with the devil. And everybody says it came from Africa with the slaves on the boats. So I got invited to play in Africa and I went to play with many African musicians. And when I sat down to play with them, they all said, oh, you play African music really good, where I had never played African music before. Well, I had tried, but not really seriously. I was just playing my best, blues licks. People that have straight hair want curly hair. It's just like that. People with blue eyes want green eyes. And people with green eyes want brown eyes. We all like what we can see and what's foreign in others. So when I came to Africa, I found that all my African friends loved electronic instruments, like Mamadou. He loves playing the bass. He wanted to play the bass, not the kora. He wants to play the bass. That's what's good. And I want to play the goni. I want to play the calabash. I want to sing songs from far away. It's just human nature that we are fascinated by exotic things. It's jazz and blues with all the things added to it that I love that I found in other places. And it just so happens that jazz and blues originally were influenced by the African rhythms. And then they picked up a lot of other things along the way. Um, that's what our music is. <laughs> Like a thief in the night When everyone is fast asleep Love comes on velvet feet Silent and soothing Quiet and sweet
we have five. In Cameroon, we have 232, I believe. I mean, it's over 200. In Senegal, there are four or five also. But I think the real language of Africa is the rhythm. That's really what speaks to everybody, what speaks to us in the same way. Somebody said that rhythm is a combination, a fraction of your heartbeat. Twice as fast, half as fast. That's how rhythm is related to us. Um, that's what I found in Africa. It's just the heartbeat of my music comes from there.